48 hours later after the storm here we are camper all our stuff you saw where the water was two days ago this whole field the water level was actually up to if you can see the mud on the yep right about here you can see the mud on these leaves and it goes straight across but up here is clean so it never made it up that far but down here is real soggy we got a lot of washed up debris There was nothing in front of this log over here and all this debris washed up those chairs these bottles all these sticks in front of these big logs this was all grass and this stuff just stopped here because of the logs i guess it all was heading in and down through that way but you can see the river still up but nowhere near where it was our shed over here, I should have taken a picture of the lawnmower that I pulled out of it. Give you a perspective up the hill. This shed, well, you can see the mud line on this table that was in here. You can see the mud just caked in. The lawnmower was sitting right there. And from what I can tell, this is the line right across here where the mud was. So that is easily three feet. But it looks like we put the camper in a good spot. I think we're safe till it gets to 20 feet. 20 feet is going to be our um, flood zone for the camper. We got up to 17. Here's the lawnmower. It's just completely caked in mud. It was a stand up lawnmower. And when I pulled it out, you can see here this part was up top and the water had filled into the exhaust. The gas tank was full of water. The gas tank was empty when I left it, so only used it twice. Hopefully we can revive it. The ups and downs of owning a place on the river. All right.